So here we are on my new bike. Well, it's not new, brand new, but it's new to me. So you probably all saw the previous video where my very first ride on it and I left the lens cap on my camera. So it was completely a waste of time. But since then, I've not been out on it. So I've got it home, I've fitted my tank bag, I've fitted my sat nav, my phone mount, I've got my set up, and I like it. So let's go and have a walk round. Let's go and have a see how my bike looks. Have a see. Let's go and have a look. I'm well happy with this riding position. I really, really am happy with this. This is exactly what I've been looking for. So you're probably all thinking, why did I swap my bike? There was nothing wrong with the VFR, the 800. I absolutely love that bike. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. There's nothing wrong with the bike. And all that happened was I got spoiled when we did our France tour and I went on the NT1100. The VFR was comfortable, the 800, but the NT1100, that was uh, an eye opener. I got spoiled and I thought, right, our tours are getting bigger. I think I need to go for something different, something more upright. I didn't want to sell the VFR, absolutely loved that bike, but there was no way I could afford to keep both of them. The wife was having none of it. I've just noticed that my sat nav changed. When I went under the bridge, it went into night mode. Anyhow, um, yeah, so there was nothing at all wrong with the VFR, but I couldn't keep that and another bike. So I made a decision to sell the VFR. The VFR got collected last night to its new owner. So I hope you have many, many happy miles on her as I did. You've got yourself a great bike there. They have a lot of bike for the money, the VFRs. You get a hell of a lot of bike. So anyhow, yeah, I wanted something a bit more upright. Now, Goose bought the V-Strom. Davros let him bought the V-Strom. Iceman's got the Tiger. Viper's got the Tiger. Piggy's got the KTM. Roy brought the Africa Twin. I'm trying to think who's brought bikes. We all seem to have changed at the minute. Noodles is looking for the bike. And Vic changed his bike. So I didn't want to get another V-Strom because there's two in the group. I didn't want to get a Tiger because there's two of them in the group. I would have loved a KTM but I couldn't afford one and I did look at the GS's as well I was never a GS fan but the more I've looked at them I have kind of got to like them but to get the model I liked um, I was getting up to about a 2015-2016 plate and you know you're then talking seven eight grand and I hadn't got seven eight grand so I thought, what do I want? So I started looking. And I thought, the Honda Cross Tourer. Cross Tourer. And I thought, yeah, let's have a look at that. I like my Hondas. I've always been a Honda man. Never paid much attention to the Cross Tourer before. But then I started looking at them and I thought, yeah, that's it. It's big. It's mean. It's a 1200. So I started looking. Found a few, contacted them. There was one quite close to me in Kidderminster but he was he'd sold he'd sold that he got instantly and I tried a few others I then saw one that got like 70,000 miles on it it was quite cheap but I thought 70,000 and I know Honda's I'm, I'm good for a lot of miles I thought but do you really want to be going 70,000 so anyhow I carried on looking and I found the one I'm on it was in my price range. I'd spoke to the guy. He'd sent me a walk round video of it. He talked me through everything he'd done to the bike, all the things he'd changed. So I made contact with him, decided this is the bike for me. Agreed the sale, popped over there, which was the previous video. 
to pay him his money and rode the bike home. So all I did basically was the motorway mainly, all the way home. So I didn't really get a chance to come out much on the bike. Weather's been horrendous this week, so... Today, really, is the first time I've come out. I've got to pop over to my dad's. My dad wants to see it. But he wants to see it fully loaded with all the luggage on. The Honda Cross Tourer. 2013 plate. VFR 1200 engine. So I like my VFRs. It's a 1200, so it's a monster. Everybody kept saying who had one. It was an amazing bike. They absolutely loved it. But it's a heavy bike. Now I've got to say it's not that I don't agree with it. I'm not saying I don't agree. I'm saying I don't find it heavy at all. I don't find it any different to the NT1100. I suppose if I got the NT1100 right next to it now and I went out on it straight away I might notice a difference but this doesn't feel like an heavy bike to me. It is heavy yet on paperwork. I think it's about a good 40 kilograms of you. But it doesn't feel it. I'm quite surprised. I've also had this sticker kit put on the side. Because although it looked nice all white, I did think it needed a little bit of jazz to it. So we jazzed it up. We put a bit of colour on it. And one of the things I changed straight away, which I had with it, so I'm just getting used to the... Uh, the slow speed on corners. Um, I put the stock exhaust back on it. I mean, the guy who said he'd got this SP engineering carbon race can, it was brand new. He hadn't long had it to put it on there. Um, the reason that it's come about is basically the guy who had the bike uh, broke his ankle. And obviously, with the bike being so high and heavy, he can't. Well, he's not sure if he can ride again. So, anyhow, that's how I got the bike. Yeah, so he brought this SP engineering race can on it. Beautiful can. Sounds amazing on it, but I don't need a sports can on a bike because uh, I'm going to be doing bigger too. As my aim is, I'm going for miles per gallon. I need to get the most out of the bike, not more speed out of the bike. It's a, it's a goddamn 1200. How much more speed do I need? I'm not that quick of a rider, so the bike's more than capable for what I need it for. Never had shaft drive before, so this is the first shaft drive. They're quite, um, they're quite clunky, first and second, which is standard of this bike, and to be honest with you, it's kind of standard of Honda, every Honda I've had. It's a very, um, the gearbox always feels very agricultural, very clunky, so I'm used to that. But it's lovely, I love it. The position is brilliant. Traction control's on full setting at the moment. I haven't messed with anything, to be honest with you. So it's not a review. I've not used it enough to do a review. I just wanted to have a little, um, have a little walk around of what I've brought. Right, so here she is. There's my girl. My VFR 1200 Cross Tourer. Doesn't she look nice? So it's in lovely condition. We got the spotlights, we got the crash bars. The guy's gone through all the bolts, put stainless steel bolts in. He's done a lot of uh, attention to detail. Got the Honda luggage, the Givy 58 litre top box. So this is my setup, this is how I'm having it. So I've got my tank bag, I've got my ultimate add-ons phone, I've got my Garmin sat-nav with the bracket, we've got spotlights, we've got traction control, he's even powder coated side stand, powder coated the centre stand, even powder coated the foot pegs and that one there it's lovely I absolutely love it so that's my touring setup full luggage spotlights sat nav Look 
cada stunning. A little wasp chasing me. So that's the standard can. Put the standard can back on. It looks all right. I quite like it. It's nice and shiny. I love the wheels. Spout wheels. Tubeless as well. LED rear light, LED indicators, LED spotlights. The only thing non-LED is the headlight. But I might look at getting LED bulbs for it. And there she is. I'm about to take off the beautiful hand guards. The hand guards on it were absolutely stunning. German made. I'll put the name up. I can never remember the name of the company. But they do make some quality stuff. But the only problem was the hand guards came out like that. So we'd had the little plastic uh, shield here to protect your hands from the wind, but it then had a metal frame coming round. I'll put a picture up of it actually. And it was just too wide. I couldn't get it through. I couldn't get it through the, the back entry through the gate. So unfortunately, I've had to take the hand guards off. And what I've done is I've ordered some mirrors what fold at this pivot so I, cause I have to keep moving the mirrors in and undoing the nut so I've ordered some folding mirrors but there she is what a girl and she drives absolutely beautiful plenty of power in it I ain't going to need anything more than that and the position is absolutely beautiful even actually even on the luggage is re removed every single rivet and put stainless steel cap head bolts on it on everything even on the panniers every rivet come out so it's stainless steel pudding all the way around the guy said he hates the aluminium rivets when they they tarnish but now i'm happy with that she's a lovely looking girl Right, let's go and have a ride. Well, we've got a bit of blue sky. Right then, let's get out of here. Let's go and have a ride. Let's go and enjoy this girl. Well, I've got to say, this adventure tour is, it's got to be the way. It's the way forward. If you're doing big tours, you know, I love my sports bike and not so much age where, well, yeah, I think now I'm older, I do ache a bit more but it's the position you ain't got to keep putting your head down to look at the sat-nav you can just keep your head nice and straight but anyhow, I'm a going I'm going to enjoy this bike I've still got plenty more episodes of France to edit I know everyone's going on about Alby. When, when they're going to find out if Alby makes it. Whether he gets a wheel, whether he has to go home. You're going to have to wait and see. Plenty out from me to you. Oosh! I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.